How much does the average American earn? There's no doubt about it, the United States is an affluent society. It is ranked among the richest nations in the world. That unequivocally indicates that Americans are wealthy. They are among the highest earners. This arouses our interest in the question, how much does the average American earn? Meanwhile, the answer to this question is not one to be contained in figures and currencies, as if we could say the average American earns so-so or so-so dollars. Earnings in the US have to be considered holistically. We also need to tell you that we have come across different figures from statistics and bodies. This video highlights several factors that have a bearing on the average income in the US. Factors influencing the average income in the US Several factors have either some kind of impact on how much the average American earns. For the sake of time, this video dwells on only the commonest of them. They're considered at the individual level, not at the macroeconomic levels as factors influencing the national income grid. Line of work It should be understood, as it is the case in most countries, that jobs pay more than jobs. For instance, the incomes of workers in the IT sector are usually higher than salaries in other popular domains. According to a source identified as Payscale, the average American will earn anything between $75,000 and $100,000 a year if he's working in the sector. If he's working in the education sector, his annual pay will fall between $50,000 and $75,000. Other lines of work pay far less, while the medical and sports sectors compete well or more favorably with IT. Location while remote jobs are increasing in popularity in the last couple of years, geographic location still exerts a huge influence on personal income. Those who must be physically present at their workplaces located in expensive areas, such as San Francisco and New York, receive higher pay for them to be able to sustain their lifestyle. The reverse is also true. Experience and skill in the US, as well as other countries, experience and skill set are among the best known factors influencing pay. In all sectors, no matter how lucrative, entry-level salaries are generally lower. Pay increases tend to flatten out after about 15 years of experience. An exception is when employees are favoured to be promoted to managerial positions. Average earnings in the IT sector, specifically the UX professionals, tend to add about $2,700 each year. Sex While there is generally no gender discrimination and both sexes are allowed to come forward with their skills in sectors of the economy, the available data from different sources show that, on average, men earn more than women. This is the case almost everywhere in the world. This could be due to the physical and physiological characteristics of both sexes. How age affects what the average American earns even if we could come up with a particular amount as what the average worker earns in the US, age differences would not allow that figure to be representative of reality. It would bring a lot of disparities. Therefore, we would try to tell you the average earnings for Americans by age. Let's take 25, for instance. Though the aforementioned factors come into play, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, put the median weekly wage for employees between 25 and 34 years at $857 in 2019. Going by that figure, a 25-year-old American could expect to earn approximately $44,564 per year. Even then, we should quickly add that within the age range, those factors mentioned earlier can lower or increase earnings significantly. On this note, American men aged 35 and older earn higher than those in other age brackets, according to the BLS. For men in this age group, the median weekly earning is $1,257. The highest earners among women are those between the age of 35 and 64. They earn a weekly average earning of $1,037. To give you a clearer picture of our position, consider further the BLS statistics about monthly wages for age in the US for both sexes. Workers 65 years of age and above earn $4,297 per month. Those between 55 and 64 earn $4,910 per month. Americans age 45 to 54 earn $4,927 per month. As for those between 35 and 44 years, their wage is $4,862. The average monthly wage of 25 to 34-year-old Americans is $4,032 per month, and those in the age range of 20 to 24 earn $2,750 per month. 
From this data, men and women between 45 and 54 years of age earn the highest, while those between the ages of 16 and 24 have the lowest income. Does the average American earn six-figure? The frenzied six-figure income prevalent everywhere doesn't spare American society. Folks' lifestyles have become so expensive and expansive that a six-figure income is needed to support them. Yet how many Americans are able to attain such an income level? Again, we have to depend on the data from both the BLS and the US Census Board. Of course, what we get varies depending on various demographic groups. In 2019, about 9% of Americans earned more than $100,000 per year. By 2021, there was a slight decrease in the percentage of workers earning six-figure incomes due to the world's economic situation. Only 28,756,345 Americans, constituting just 8.7% of the population, earned that much that year. Therefore, Americans indeed earn six-figure incomes. Stats from another source say that around 15.5% of Americans earned between $100,000 and $149,999 in 2019. That year, about 8.3% of the population earned between $150,000 and $199,999, while about 10.3% of them earned over $200,000. Considering average American hourly income, the BLS further breaks it down, saying that it fell to $25.72 in June 2021, summing up to $53,500 per year. From that figure, we could calculate the median individual income in the US in 2021 as $44,225, a 2.5% increase from the previous year. In the year 2022, more than 34.4% the US households could pay their bills as they join the six-figure income earners. Focusing more on the 2019 average American earning. Let's focus more on 2019 as a pivotal year in the American wage system. You could understand that the world economy changed drastically that year. Did you know that the median household income in America in 2019 was $68,703? That same year, the average annual real wage in the country was $65,836. The median hourly wage was $19.33 in 2019. The real median personal income in 2019 was $35,977 per year. The top 1% of wage earners in the US were the ones contributing 20% of American annual income. Consequently, 34 million people were living below the poverty line as of 2019 in the US. While women working full-time in 2019 had real median earnings of $47,299, men in the same employment circumstances earned $57,456. In 2019, Maryland had the highest annual median household with $95,572 per year. The average American pay in 2022. How do all of these reflect on the average American earnings for the year 2022? The BLS, part of the US Department of Labor, has the insight to share from the track of job information that it keeps at the federal level. In the first quarter of 2022, American women earned 81.8% of what men earned. The median weekly personal income for the average full-time American worker for the first quarter of 2022 was approximately $1,037 per week. Men were able to achieve a median income of $1,128 per week, while women weekly earnings averaged $939. Women's median weekly incomes during the period were 16.8% lower than men's. Viewing the year 2022 as a whole and from across all states, stats shows that women earned about 83.2% of men's median salary. Note also that race and ethnicity exert some influence. While black women earn 93.2% as much as their men, Asian women earn 85.2% of their wages as much as men. Does that bring back to your mind what we earlier said about sex affecting income? Remember also the role of location, line of work and education and skills. At any rate, these figures make the average American weekly wage 4.9% higher in 2022 than in 2021. How much the average American earns in 2022 can also be considered by states. According to the World Population Review, Washington, D.C. has the highest per capita income PCI in America with $84,538. Connecticut comes second with residence PCI given as $79,087. 
The state at the bottom of the table of PCI is Mississippi with $39,368. Please tell us, what is your take on how much the average American earns? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments section.